Let's go ahead and switch our outfit back to something cool. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's uh Oh, I didn't notice these actually have um damage resistance values on them that might be worth paying attention to paying attention to. Which it's 20 on this one. But this also has 10 energy. Hmm. But this one's better for blocking bullets, I guess. Or, I mean, this one. Oh, it's also got Persuasion Chance on it. I'm yep. telling you, the Commander's got plans for this loser. Loser? We'd be going through all this trouble. I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I hope you're comfortable. Who are you? I'm your ticket out of the mess you've gotten yourself into. That's all you need to know for now. This doesn't look like the local jail. Bet my shoe size isn't in your records. Huh. You're absolutely right. Well, I'll have my people get right on that. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sysdev. Are you familiar with what we do? Did you start by telling me what UST Sysdev means? United Colonies System Defense. Does that help you figure out exactly what it is we do? Well, I know you kidnap people. Actually, that's something new we're trying. <laughs> I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our horizons. UC Sysdev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. What type of big picture stuff does the UC Navy handle? On the books. They maintain combat-ready spaceborne forces to deter aggression and ensure the safety of the United Colonies. What all that fancy claptrap means is that they're the ones who fight in the wars to keep our territory secure. Mm-hmm. I don't like where this is going. I don't remember asking how you felt about anything. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. We barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down.
Maybe you should give up. That's where you and I differ. As a citizen of the United Colonies, I accept my responsibilities. You, on the other hand, clearly couldn't give a damn. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Steph, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. I didn't realize coercion was part of the UC system's code of ethics. I'm not coercing you into doing anything. I'm simply giving you a chance to redeem yourself. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? Do I have to decide right now? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. How do you know I can even handle this type of operation? If I didn't think you had a chance, I would have left you in lockup. You're just going to have to follow your instincts and trust me. Not a chance. I'd rather take my chances in jail. Suit yourself. You know, I have to admit, I'm a bit surprised. My instincts told me you were the right person, but I suppose I was wrong. Alright, send this one to the lockup on Sidonia. Let them deal with the problem. You got a whole new pip right there. Ah, uh, just a piece of corn. That's always happening. Half the time when you see someone with wrong amount of pips around here, it's usually just delicious street corn. Hey, thanks for the promotion, Fedorosaur. I'll put that piece Let of corn... Let experiences define who you are. Right up my collar where it belongs. Oh no, are we out of money? We only sent 92 credits back home. No, we got money. I guess they only needed 92 this time. Uh, Sif stuff is now your enemy. Okay. That's fine. I'm not working for the fucking cops. Ooh, seek out the Crimson Fleet. We can join the resistance. The locals tend to stay out of trouble. Visitors? That's another story. Are you gonna have a problem here? Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security related concern, bring it up to me. Booth? Just Booth? Is that a nickname or something? As much as someone's last name is a nickname. Friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth. You can call me Sergeant Booth. Um. How about I call you Hambone? Don't let me keep you. Watch out for the robots. They're surprisingly sneaky. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level. Whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. Red Devils, what's that? Only the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself, and head of the mm -hmm. program. Well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony wars. It put a stop to any and all Xeno warfare. I fought to keep them operational here, but the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. Right, anyway. Bye. Yeah. Heck. A reduced noise ordinance is in effect every night from 2200 hours until low 500 hours the next morning. Things have been pretty quiet around here lately. Usually means someone's up to something. 
just haven't found out what yet. Get shield just looking at the way. The governor's office is right there on the main level. Doesn't mean it's not secure. Be careful down near the mines and enter any active sites at your own risk. We run a tight ship here on Sidonia. Anyone who steps out of line, well, they learn never to do it again. Stop looking at me. Stop it! Don't look at me! Do not perceive me. I'm not doing any- uh oh. Okay, I think we're good. This should be pretty easy. good in here? Eh. Not a key. Some money. But it'll get marked as stolen I think if I grab it so. Perfect. But that's okay. We got Used to think I was progress chart leveling up our uh, lock picking. Where are we? Oh, this is Mars. Ink. The miners pretty much run the lower levels here. Oh god. Not days of that incident, hours. Real state of affairs we got here. Welcome, Mika. can go ahead and give them a shout out if uh, you can get to the keyboard around Ozzy who is being very needy because he knows it's almost time for his evening meal. Yep, this is definitely Mars. They don't happen to have any uh... Shielded cargo holds, do they? Yeah, okay. yeah. You need a heat leech explain to me. Let's see. Cargo. No, no shielded cargo. Still have no idea where the heck we're supposed to find shielded cargo. I know, I think one of the ships that we got has some shielded cargo space built in, but I didn't want to use that ship for some reason. I think it was the Mantis one. But I didn't want to upgrade it too much and mess with how cool it looks. Anyway. That's quite a detour. I'm curious about the the missions that we opted out of just now, but I'm not working with the cops. What was I about to do? Oh, there we go. After refusing to accept Commander Akande's offer, I've decided to seek out the Crimson Fleet on my own and potentially join their ranks. But how do we do that? And will anybody be upset at us if we join the pirates?
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a specific place to go. Hey, look at all these systems. Never noticed how many places there are to go in this game. I mean, I suppose that was one of the the selling points. Is that there's like thousands of planets you can go to. And nothing to do on any of them. <laughs> that 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 part wasn't part of the selling point, but that was the harsh reality of it that sunk in after release. Level 75, that's going to be quite difficult for us at this point. And we probably want to stick a little closer to home for now. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us where to go. I mean, it doesn't give us the option to just set course because we don't know where. But... I think it shows what faction is in control. Oh yeah, so if we hover over this one, it shows that it's Free Star Collective. Salt is United Colonies. I'm not sure if red means that it's just inaccessible. Well, it's unexplored. It might just mean that we haven't been there yet. It'd be nice if there's like a way to filter by faction or something. Well, it seems like most of these places aren't marked as owned by a specific faction. Oh, we're in plush mode. I don't have a sound for that one, I don't think. I guess I could use the same like squeaky toy one that we've got for Blow High, but I feel like that would be kind of... Using, oh hey, welcome, Al. You're here just in time for chunks. By Justin Heim. I mean, let's see if we have any. We got chunks chicken. Ooh, nice grill marks on top. Cool. Some chunks apple. That's just a normal apple that they grew in a cube. Got a little chunks imprint on the bottom. The the bottom of the apple looks particularly gross when it's cube shaped. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and eat that so I don't have to think about it anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're trying to figure out where to go so we can join the the pirate fleet. Cause we just rejected the cops offer to work with them, because fuck that. But it doesn't give us an obvious place to actually go to do that. It might be something that comes up later in the main story. Like this one just kind of was a thing that we ran into. I don't know, where would Crimson Fleet be hanging out? I know we met some of them once. I, th I think that was the Crimson Fleet. When, uh... We were rescuing Barrett from the pirates. It might have just been regular spacers though. Oh, does the... Oh, the little mark on top, <clears throat> excuse me, indicates that it's owned by a faction. I think? Maybe not. Oh, God, this interface is so confusing. I've played this for several hours and it, I still don't totally get it. Oh, shipyards? That's what that means? Okay. 
Yeah, that that's fair, Nika. I to be honest, I don't really like the way Bethesda writes like the good guy and bad guy kind of dichotomy of like it's like in Fallout where there's the settlers and the raiders. The raiders are just like the the bad guys cuz they're surviving out in the wasteland by taking stuff from other people which makes more sense to me whereas in this game the spacers are just space raiders but it feels it's not actually i, mean, I guess it's technically a post apocalypse i don't know it's it's weird i feel like the game is a little too pro cop for my taste I gotta decide on somewhere to go. Let's just go over here. Yeah, there's not enough gray area. The spacers are just like two like obligatory bad guys. But it's like it, it feels anti-poor to me. What is this? Star Station ECN 38. Oh, okay. No answer. If there's anything in here. We've we been here before. Doesn't look familiar. Oh, I hear creature sounds. Hello? Anyone or thing there? Nothing. I'll take the trauma pack. This is just ominously empty. It starts with some med medical supplies, though. Seems to be nothing here. My playthrough felt like the game was clearly saying that the UC were the good guys and kept waiting for the shoe to drop. Yeah. That's... Kind of what I was thinking as well, I think. Like, they're too obviously the, like, lawful good organization. I think, unfortunately, that's just how Bethesda writes things. Alright, nothing much here.
No, we don't really have time to continue with the main story mission at this point, I don't think. Maybe there's some other side stuff we could do in the meantime. But yeah, I guess we could go back to... Oh wait, no, we decided not to do that one because we tried speaking to Warlord, but... Uh, diplomacy didn't work out, so we'd have to kill him. Um... Not a whole lot left to do. I guess I'll head back and... No, I feel like that's gonna... I don't know. Let's just go collect another power, I guess. Uh, where is that? Gunibu 6D. It's not letting me set course, unfortunately. I guess because we were already there? There we go. Okay. Yeah, it'd be like Star Trek, but if the Federation still had poverty, and so there's all these poor people who have to Hello? who still have to do bad stuff to survive. Hello there, and thank you for responding to my hail. It's been a long time since I had company. I'm Dr. Sola Banglawala from Mast in New Atlantis. I'm performing a geological survey of the settled systems as part of a field research initiative. I flagged you down to see if you might have any rare geological samples to contribute. It's gonna say they seem familiar. Um Hopefully we have some now. I have more than enough rocks to offload. I'll help if I can. Oh, there we go. I have more than enough vanadium to go around. Thank you! Oh, this will really help with my research. I'd be happy to offer you some of the common resources produced as byproducts of my research to thank you for your help. I have more copper, lead, and aluminum than I know what to do with. I'll pay you in credits instead if you prefer, but uh, I don't have much. Hmm. No reward necessary. Helping with the advancement of science is enough for me. Really? I must say I'm impressed. I've stopped a few dozen pilots and no one's given me an answer like that. I appreciate the sentiment. I'm going to try my luck in another system. You might want to back up a bit. This old Junker's grav drive is a little on the fritz. Fly safe! Sorry, this is taking longer than usual. Have any hobbies? Oh, just a few. Many things I can do on my ship. If you haven't tried it yet, give Origami a shot. I've been folding paper birds and flying them across the ship in zero G. Personally, I have quite a rock collection. I used to spend my weekends gathering samples on Jemison. Maybe I shouldn't have let that slip at the office, huh? <laughs> That's probably why they sent me on this job instead of some poor grad student. <laughs> huh. You ever hear the one about the geologist in the music shop? 
It's a good one. A geologist walks into a music store and asks the cashier, got any rock? The guy looks him up and down and says, I'm pretty sure it's the same, the same joke from before, but it was funny again. Yeah, we got a cool new space dragonborn power to try out on this the starborn next time. We can, we can do key blasts. There it is. And this right here is why people complain that there are vehicles in Starfield. I mean, what is there to do? There's there's lead over there I could scan, but we've already scanned it. There's uh, I guess some lead w that we could mine. Oh, there's some titanium. So that's three out of four scanned, but gosh, it's so tedious. There's there's just no joy to be mined from surveying in this game. So it's just like running and running and scanning and running. I'm certainly enjoying it for the story and the characters, but the actual space exploration element is just kind of not there. And we're already starting to see some recycled encounters. He had recycled encounters back to back in the first hour. That's nuts. Yeah, I guess I got lucky early on not seeing any repeats for a while at least.
Depot juice. Oh! That's interesting. Looks like that there's some kind of picture in there or something. Sometimes these places are kind of creepy. Just being serious. Yeah, what part did we get this time? Is that the reactive shield? It might be it. I'm starting to lose track. Hey, lemon poppy seed. Just dropping by my way to bed. You have a great time today. Oh, thank you. I hope you have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. I forgot about the crab dash. I guess, I guess this shield is the new one. It'll probably be useful to be able to take less damage. Find somewhere on the wheel for that, I guess. You have to redo our favorite assignments at some point. Oh my goodness. We're going doom mode. Let's get our shotgun out. I can find it. Where is it? Oh my gosh, where is it? There it is. I can reload. I'm going first person probably for this. Okay, it's over. I should probably make them should probably cut the music to be a little bit shorter, shouldn't I? I can't stop it. We're stuck. <laughs> okay, it's it's over. We can go back now. Free me from this doom. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Made it a lot louder because the first time that was redeemed, the the combat music in the game was so loud that I couldn't even really hear the doom music. So hopefully that wasn't too startling. But I appreciate you, uh Redeeming that. I think it went pretty well this time. <laughs> Alright, where to next? Still got about 10 minutes. A couple more powers to grab. Only Epsilon and Washiki. Let's go to Washiki! Any, uh, pirates? No pirates. Acquire the power on Skink! That's what I thought we... <laughs> We're getting close to... At least catching up on the... The ones we had in the... List of missions. 
if not all of the ones in the game. Okie dokie. Lots of resources to scan in this one. Not really that worried about it. I'll scan if I see them though. Structure? Maybe a ship. The tall. That's definitely a structure. Not the kind of structure we're looking for, though, I don't think. I think it might be this way. Oh, wait, there it is. Never mind. grab dash on here somewhere. I guess we don't need the cutter on on the favorites. I forgot it does the, that annoying like thing where you get sucked right down to the ground right after you do the dash. It's unclear if that's an intentional design choice or if it's just a weird thing with the gravity. It seems though it's the gravity. You get like sucked right down. I'm curious how that works in zero G actually. No, nope. zero zero G it doesn't uh pull you down at least. Oh. It goes straight ahead though, it doesn't follow your where you're looking. Oh. 
These temples are such peculiar monuments. Huh. We're gonna get flattened. Oh, shoot, there's two of them this time. Okay, what did we get? Oh, personal atmosphere. It's, it, that's what it said. Okay. Oxygen, pure and clean, brought forth to breathe deep and counteract harmful carbon dioxide. What? I guess that means we can sprint for longer. Let's go. Oh wait, no, it's just the one. I, I think I saw Barrett next to him. And did get a good look. Let's try the. Well, let's have him for the Grendel. Let's go with that. It is also my favorite of the weapons so far in this game. Just because it looks so much like a space P90. Ah! We got the... oh. Nope, never mind. We're good. I thought you're getting stuck in the music again. I think we were a couple times before we were doing these. 